Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to create this video to discuss the next untethered jailbreak with you guys, particularly where iOS 8.4.1 is concerned, but also iOS 9. This is an update to yesterday's video. Pangu tweeted out something pretty interesting this morning, so let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so as I mentioned, this is pretty much like part two. Yesterday, I released a video discussing iOS 9 and my predictions surrounding the next untethered jailbreak utility. But as I stated about an hour ago, as of recording this video, Pangu tweeted out something that is rather intriguing that I'm going to get into right away. But first, of course, if you guys happen to miss this video, I will have it linked for you guys in the cards as well as in the annotations. They should be up on your screen now. I do recommend watching this video first because everything stated in yesterday's update still holds true. The only thing that's even slightly different is the bit that Pangu tweeted out and published this morning. So with that said, we're going to switch on over here to the information in today's update. Now Pangu tweeted out the following, quote, we just published three kernel vulnerabilities on iOS 8.4.1. One of them is a perfect vulnerability for jailbreak. And they linked here, which actually has three vulnerabilities publicized, which is pretty interesting, right? Well, in yesterday's update, I stated that the reason why Pangu hasn't released a jailbreak for iOS 8.4.1 is because they're saving the vulnerabilities probably for iOS 9. They discovered that some of the vulnerabilities could be saved and reworked into an iOS 9 jailbreak because as I'm sure the majority of you are already aware, Pangu actually did perform a jailbreak demonstration on iOS 8.4.1 and an iPhone 6 at Hackpone 2015, a security conference, but they never released anything. Three kernel vulnerabilities are now publicized. Of course, it will take more vulnerabilities to be exploited to actually create a jailbreak utility. So what I said yesterday about them discovering vulnerabilities that will work in 8.4.1 and iOS 9 could still hold true. But at any rate, they posted these three probably because they're focused on iOS 9 and they want to allow anyone who isn't or who has some spare time to be able to better create a jailbreak because the core behind any jailbreak break is of course the kernel vulnerability or the kernel exploit and in theory all of the vulnerabilities should be exploitable and Pangu even stated that one is perfect for a jailbreak by saying quote more importantly one of these bugs is perfect heap overflow vulnerability that allows us to defeat all kernel mitigations and gain code execution in the kernel just by exploiting this single vulnerability so this is a very powerful exploit found in iOS 8.4.1 and then from there they just go on to again list the the vulnerabilities and briefly explain them. So that's basically it guys. By publishing this, Pangu has effectively confirmed that they're not going to create an iOS 8.4.1 jailbreak once and for all. And in turn, that means they're probably working on a new utility for iOS 9. They're too busy to devote their time and resources to achieving untethered jailbreak access for all devices on iOS 8.4.1. So they want to turn it over to somebody else. Hopefully, Taiji will be able to pick up the slack here, but it's also conceivable that another group may actually finish the work of Pangu on iOS 8.4.1. And of course, the reason why they published these and why they didn't just save them for 8.4.1 at the end here, they state, quote, note these vulnerabilities cannot be triggered inside the container sandbox, and we confirm that the second and third bugs are already fixed in iOS 9 beta 5. Now again, like I stated before and in yesterday's video, chances are good that they still have some vulnerabilities that can be exploited on iOS 9. They've been working on it since the firmware first went into developer beta testing in June. Hopefully we can see something absolutely amazing from the team. And also, as I said yesterday, with Taiji having issued the last two jailbreak utilities, they've in turn allowed Pangu more time to test iOS 9. So hopefully we'll receive a new jailbreak soon again for a detailed and explicit time frame of such release least, just be sure to check out the annotation I have on your screens now that will link back to yesterday's video, part one of this quick series. We will be going live here on the iCracker iDevice YouTube channel, and I will also publish another video later tonight as well as tomorrow linking you guys to live details on best tech info. So if you guys like this video and you found any of the information helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section and whether you're excited for a new jailbreak utility. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release 
piece videos like this one updating you guys on the jailbreak status as well as tutorials once the utility is made available. Just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter as well as Instagram at ICUID. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Thank <laughs> you.